pierce through the heavens with your drill. My name is Tetsuyumi, and welcome to Tengen Topa Guren Lagan, the mobile game. The first ever Guren Lagan mobile game made by a company called Wanda Cinema Games. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know this developer. I don't know if they're good. I'm biased as fuck because anything Guren Lagan is automatically just 500% like it, it is it is amazing it, it's just it's god it's godly and already you can hear you can hear the intros play opening one of Gurren Lagan. this is a new they they made their own cinematic intro for this game like they have the opening running but i've noticed this is a different intro like they have like like this right here they have bits and pieces from the opening of Gurren Lagan, the anime like this whole sequence right here and sort of like in the very beginning with uh with the core with the you know spiral drill uh, opening up the core drill, glowing, but this is completely, like, look at this, they, they made their whole, they made their own whole as intro for this game, yo, this is heat, <laughs> yo, this is heat, <laughs> all right, I, I need to turn down my mic, I'm gonna be screaming throughout this entire video, all right, so I did not mention this during the little opening cinematic there, because, albeit, I was absolutely fangirling out i could barely get my words out of my mouth but basically this game currently is in an early access so what that means it is not fully released yet and because of that uh it is only going to be technically open from june 1st all the way to june 16th as you can see here it's a little bit hard to read with this text but with this there's something that's pretty cool if you go ahead and read the important thing essentially what they're saying here is if you spend money in this game to uh, to buy any sort of perks or I guess diamonds or whatever currency they use, you will be rebated upon the game's actual like release up to 150% of what you put in. So they explain this a little bit down here, but basically, if you top up to a total of 500 yen, you will be getting that 500 yen back in rewards, like you know as you normally would if you're buying anything in a mobile game. But then after the game fully releases, you will also be getting 250 diamonds or equivalent to like 250 yen which is you know the other 50 percent of the purchase so basically anything you purchase now in this early access period you will be getting when the game fully releases and you will also be getting a little extra and this is especially relevant because if you guys couldn't figure it out by now i am a slut for gurren lagan anything gurren lagan i will put frivolous amounts of money into money that mind you i i don't have i do not have the money to be spending on all this gurren lagan merchandise however it's gurren lagan your boy has to so <laughs> with that being said uh i want to i want i already want to spend money on this game i don't even know what the gameplay is like but i want to spend money on this game so here's what i'm gonna say now no matter what i'm playing this game like i am playing this game you will most likely see this game on my channel that's just a given. Like, that's that's gonna happen. If I particularly like this game or enjoy the gameplay, or hell, even if I'm just feeling generous, I will wail. And I will wail hard, because it's Gurren Lagan. It, it deserves it. But with that being said, gamers, let's go ahead and get out of the game announcements, and your boy is here! Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan EN! Let's go! Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. So, I'm gonna keep this video or I'm gonna try and keep this video like decently short but there's a few things I do want to do in this video first off I want to run through the intro of this game I want to see what the gameplay is like you know the combat stuff like that uh this is a gacha game so I want to see what the drawing is like you know what summoning for characters is like I want to see kind of the upgrade paths of characters like how do you make characters stronger like how pay to win or whatever is it also, I want to see, is this the, is this the Japanese voice cast? Or is this in English? I can't even. This, it, so, it sounds really convincing. It sounds convincing. I don't know if this is the actual, um, I don't know if this is the actual Japanese voice cast of the game. That would be really, really cool if it was. And honestly, it would kind of make sense because this game is in collaboration with Trigger and I'm pretty sure with Gainax. I'm not- I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm- I'm actually going to skip all of the story, uh, for two reasons. For one, if you guys haven't watched Gurren Lagan, then watch Gurren Lagan. Like, watch it right now. I- I don't know what you're doing here. And- oh, okay, combat. Here we go. 
So I do know going in that the combat style of this game is sort of that like grid strategy based style, but I haven't actually seen like the regular gameplay of it. So all I know is that, ooh, a special move. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Damn, log on. Okay. Gonna drill him the ground. Hell yeah. So, oh my, and a cutscene too. I'm pretty sure this is just a story cutscene, but it would be really, really cool if they actually did include cutscenes for like using a, a special move to finish off the off the enemy. That would be really cool. But I think this is actually just a cutscene from the show. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Let me continue. Let me continue my train of thought real quick. If you haven't watched Grand Lagan, watch it. Uh, but I'm going to skip all the story because I don't want to spoil the actual story to the game. You know, just in case you want to experience it for yourself. And also, I already know the story of Gurren Lagan by heart, literally. It's it's crazy, but here we got Yoko and all that stuff. So here we go. Are we going to actually see how to uh, to do the regular fights now? I think we are. Alright, so far it's all just been story, uh, but I think we're probably going to go into our first real uh, battle now, hopefully. But okay, we got, we got a nice hub world. Here's another thing. So, I did mention in the beginning, this is a Chinese game developer. And there's one thing you guys need to know about Chinese game developers and gacha games. And that is they love to do, f like, fragments or tokens for for character creation. So, they, they love stuff where you get 60 shards of a character and then you combine them into whatever character it is. And this is actually a really, really good thing, but it can quickly turn into a really, really bad thing because what this means is that most of the time if you summon, you can summon for just like the full character and like get it if it's maybe like a special special banner or something. But if it's not, you can still get the character fragments and shards from summoning and then just slowly work your way up to getting like a full character or maybe full mech as it might work in this game. Alright, finally, it's going ahead and explaining the actual combat, so I'll probably skip over most of this because I did already look at this off camera, but basically how it works is, uh, if there's no character adjacent to your character, then it will pretty much go down the line like this, so if there's no character, like, right here, it will go down the line, figure out if there's a character right here, it'll attack this one, if not, it'll, you know, go all the way in the back, and it's the same thing, like, if there's a character in front of this one, it has to attack this character first before it can hit all the way in the back row. So that was, of course, a really simple way of explaining it, but it does get more complicated with stuff like adding more mechs to your team, because now you have to figure out things like team composition. So I'm guessing for these first few battles, it's going to be real easy, especially because I do see like some sort of power indicator up at the top, and we have <laughs> drastically more power than the enemy team. Uh, but I'm, I'm assuming that there's going to be like support characters or like maybe buffing characters and stuff, and you want to have those in the back. Oh, my, dude, Yoko, Yoko Tank is just, <laughs> just cleaned up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yoko's like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I, I did all right. I mean, a one-hit kill to all three of the enemies. It's, it's all right. It's, it's whatever. Hey, yo. All right, so here we go. We're learning a little bit about the upgrade process for these gunmen. So there's a few things that I want to note right now. First off is we have all the basic attributes like HP, attack, defense, speed. This is all just kind of normal stuff, like the numbers go up, you get stronger. There's also down here, there's skills. So you can see that right now I have this skill that looks like it's maybe at level 1. And then possibly once I upgrade enough, I'll unlock these other skills. And uh, eventually, here it says ultimate skill, which I'm thinking maybe this might be some sort of an activatable skill. As opposed to these skills, which I think would just randomly proc during battle. Over here to the left side of the screen, you can see not only basic info, but it looks like you can change the pilot of the gunman. And this could be really, really cool, because what I think this could mean is that depending on the pilot of the gunman, you could maybe have different skills associated with the mecha. So, for instance, maybe if I put Yoko in this mecha, because this is Yoko's mecha in the anime, then maybe she would get, like, an extra skill effect, or maybe her ultimate damage would be boosted or something like that. And, you know, similarly, if I put Simone in Lagan, then maybe he would get some sort of extra effect or something like that. And maybe it would be different across all the characters. So if I put, like, Lord Renome in Gurren Lagan instead of his mecha, then maybe it would get, like, some sort of different status effect or something, maybe? I don't know. That's That's something to keep in mind. Okay, here we go. Will my questions be answered about the pilot? Let's see. So, exclusive pilot can provide attribute bonuses to gunmen. Okay, that is what I figured. Also, hey, look, at I can drip out my Simone. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, well, I guess let's go ahead and click deploy and just see how fast these gunmen get absolutely shredded. I mean, we have a 10,000 
power ranking over them, so <laughs> this is, this is going to be a wash, but I do like the combat. Also, I noticed down here, you can kind of see the turns of each gunman, so like if you don't know which gunman is going to attack next, there's a little bar down there which shows you. Let's go! Okay, finally, here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for, the summoning. So, I, yeah, I was going to say, I really don't think there are any like particular banners out right now for this game, especially because it is just in early access for a few weeks, but... We can go ahead and summon, and okay, so it takes, it looks like 2,700 crystals, or diamonds, whatever you want to call them, to summon a 10 times summon, or it takes you, uh, I, I would assume 10 cordials or just one cordial for a single summon, which, okay, I, I, I guess that's fair. Oh, little summoning animation, okay, so is it like if Kamina also pops up or something, then then we know we're getting something good, or or is this just like literally a cutscene and, and, and like the summon isn't implemented yet? <laughs> oh shit! No, there actually is a summon! Okay, damn! So I'm guessing like how much the uh, the spiral ignites is probably like what we're gonna get. So let's go ahead and tap that. How much are we gonna get? Oh, full power? Oh, okay, little rainbow there. So did we get a, uh, we did get Gurren. Uh, I, I mean, I'm gonna assume that like Gurren is probably what you will always get. But, I'll take it. And, oh, wait, did, did we get Kamina with him? Okay. Okay, I see. So, it looks like you when you do summon the mecha, you will also get the pilot with it. Alright, more lore. So, it looks like at level 21 is when we get the ultimate skill. And it looks like it wants us to check out the ultimate skill here, which I'm pretty sure we all know is going to be combining with Lagan to make Gurren Lagan. Uh, but that is very cool. We can also see what it does. It has, like, upgrade effects. Uh, it also, wow, there's, oh my god, no way, no way does it have color hashtag 3E1D11 release, no way. Alright, here we go, and I was gonna mention it before, but we did get multiple copies of Guren because we completed, like, a, uh, a beginner thing and it just gave us a few more copies. So now I'm, I'm guessing we can combine them and then increase the stars of the gunmen, which is pretty cool. So is it gonna go to four stars now, probably? Uh, it looks like, yeah, <laughs> it is gonna go to four stars. Alright, so it looks like this next level here is a boss fight, which might be fun to go ahead and show. And also, I did want to mention this before, but I didn't really have a good opportunity to. But you can go ahead and press this little buff button over here, and you can see both your and the enemy team. And what's cool is you can see all the buffs and debuffs that are on both your and the enemy team. So again, just confirming that there is stuff like status effects, buffs, debuffs, all that good stuff. And, uh, I did see stuff like fire effects and burn, and yeah, you can even see here, like, uh, some sort of armor break. And, ooh, damn, he has a special move! Okay, I think there was some sort of little glitch here, because, um, I- I cannot- <laughs> I can't click anything up in this corner, um, or anywhere else on the screen, for that matter. So, um, I- cool. Here we go, we can go ahead and do ourselves another 10 times multi, check out these animations here, see if we can spot anything different between this animation and maybe the first one. Uh, but with that being said, I actually just don't know, like, what mechas are in this game currently. I assume not too many. I obviously know that, like, Lagan, Gurren, Gurren Lagan, uh, all those mechas are in the game. Uh, but, I, you know, let's just go ahead and see, let's see if any special animation or anything. We did get whatever that, that yellow is. That's probably like a four star? A five star, okay. And I'm pretty sure this is also gonna be a guaranteed drop because this is the boss we literally just fought. But that's very cool. So you can summon five stars as well as like three stars. Sweet, wow, we got a lot of uh, logons there, very cool. <laughs> okay, a bit intrusive here, but I'm definitely gonna rate it a five stars, obviously, come on. Oh, error, sick. Hey, I was wondering when Buto was gonna make an appearance, and uh, it's here in the dismantle screen. So we can pretty much just dismantle all the two-star gunmen because they are absolutely useless. So there we go, little little Buta appearance. I was just taking a look at Viral's mech here, checking out some of the skills, and it looks like I was sort of half right and half wrong about the way skills work. So the way I thought skills worked is that they were all pretty much just passive skills, except for the ultimate skill, which was maybe sort of like an activatable skill that you had to, you know, time or like use with some strategy in your team. But it looks like I was wrong about that. So if I go ahead and click on his ultimate skill here, your opponent is me. It says it's released in the one round and the CD is four round. So if you guys don't know what this means, it means this is released in one round and then it has a four 
round cooldown. And this is pretty similar to all the other skills. Like you can see his level one skill, his sort of passive skill is burst of anger released in the one round has a two round cooldown. So basically every four rounds, uh, you can use your ultimate skill. And I think what rounds are is most likely when every mech gets a turn, that is one full round. And then every rotation of that is like another round gone by. So you basically have to wait for all of your other mechs and all the enemy mechs to get a turn before one of these rounds ticks down is what I think it means. But either way, this is still pretty cool. And I assume it's going to be really powerful because a four round cooldown sounds like a lot. I don't even know if I've gotten to a full four rounds yet in this game. But, you know, it's not bad. I probably would have still preferred it to be more of an activatable skill, just so you could feel like, as a player, that you're interacting more with the game. Because, at the moment, this is sort of more of an AFK feeling style of game. Like, you don't really interact with the combat or anything. You kind of just watch your robots fight other robots. Uh, but it is still cool. You know, I'm not not a fan of this system. Oh, this is really cool! So, right now, it's having me run through, like, an actual story of Gurren Lagann. And it's giving me some of these, like, cannon battles here. And you can see, it's giving me a level 61 Logon. So I have all of its skills currently unlocked, which is super cool. So we can actually see what it does in action. And also, if you guys want to pause the video and go ahead and read any of these skills, what they do, you can. But yeah, for sure. Let's go ahead and watch this guy just demolish some of these gunmen. Ooh. Oh, here we go. We got the special move. Oh, we got Laga on impact and a barrow into the ground. Pop up. There we go. Hype. And I also did see, I think it gave itself a buff or something, right? It looked like it did. There's a little, there's a little buff icon on top of here. Oh, yo, I think we're finally going to learn about merging. Because I know for a fact that Lagan and Gurren can merge. Oh, it looks like it's, it's going to merge with some sort of like combo skill. So I think that merging is an actual attack and not, like, merging them into one unit on the actual battlefield. Oh, that's so cool. I want to see this. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. It's merging. Ooh. Oh, okay. I like it. Damn. That was hype. That was hype. I love that it did, like, the cutscenes from the actual anime, too. Felt very, like, Naruto Storm-esque. Oh, fuck. Fuck yeah, now we actually get Gurren Lagan the unit. And it looks like this is also the buff that I was seeing on Lagan before. It's called Spiral Evolution. So it looks like it's just like an HP attack and crit damage buff, which is very cool. Oh my dude. Oh, damn. <laughs> I get so hyped whenever he does a special move. Dude, it, lo it looks so good. Like, I, I know the sort of, like, chibi-ish art style of the mechs is gonna... It's gonna be hit or miss with a lot of people. I still think it's absolutely insane. It reminds me a lot of Super Robot Wars, which, if you guys don't know, is another, like, mecha game that basically just does a ton of collaborations with a ton of different mecha anime. And at one point, they did have a collaboration with Gurren Lagan, And this is pretty much how the mechas looked in the game. It was this sort of chibi art style, which I personally don't mind. I think it's pretty cool still. Uh, either way, it's Gurren Lagan, so I'm gonna obviously think it's cool because, again, I'm so unbelievably biased towards Gurren Lagan. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I, I can get the, I can get the Die Gurren for only 99 cents is what you're telling me? Oh, well, <laughs> I don't mind if I do. Nah, I, I'm obviously kidding. Well, I'm not obviously kidding, I'm just kidding, but not yet. We're, we're, we're gonna hold off a little bit longer till I purchase things in this game. The only reason I'm holding off is because I want to make double sure that the game right now that I'm playing can transfer to my phone because I do plan on playing this off camera on my phone a lot. So I want to make sure it has like good compatible crossplay and stuff like that. I found another very cool thing. So this is the daily shop that's in the game and it looks like every day you can claim this free 20 diamonds and also two free fragments. And this is really cool because again, with the fragment system, basically you earn up a bunch of these random fragments and eventually you can put them all together to get yourself a gunman. And it looks like you can choose any of these gunmen. And looking at the roster right now, I don't know if all of these are technically available. But, like, this is <laughs> this is a lot of five-star gunmen already. Ooh, wow. Okay, so I'm looking at, like, pretty much all of the shop offers right now. Because I'm kind of trying to determine in my head how free-to-play friendly this game is eventually going to be. Obviously, right now, it's really hard to determine that because I just started playing. And I obviously don't know what the, uh, the diamond situation or summoning situation is going to be like down the road. But already, 
For $20, you get cumulatively 4,500 diamonds, which is how many summons actually? Okay, so I think this is about 16 multis and probably going to be 17 because you would also be getting the free rewards too. So, I mean, I, I don't really know if that's a good deal or not. It looks like you're getting a little bit less than a multi per dollar you spend, which honestly, it doesn't sound terrible, but it doesn't sound like too great of a deal. Uh, but I'm, I guess, very new to wailing out on games. So maybe if you guys have like bought deals like this in the past, you guys could let me know in the comments down below. Ooh, okay, already an active game? I got two friend requests coming in? Okay, okay. We're gonna ignore the fact that they both had max friends, so my friend counts still zero. This is a really cool reward system. So basically, it's just rewarding you for playing the game and being online. You can see here, it's counting down from eight minutes. And I assume what happens is after eight minutes are up, I'm gonna have like this reward next to claim, which is really cool. And I don't know like what time frame it actually needs to be. Like maybe each reward is like 30 minutes or something like that. But honestly, that's really cool, and this is pretty useful too if you're doing like your daily grinding because you can go down here, do all your daily tasks, and then when you come back, you can go up here and get yourself a little extra reward. Oh my god! So I, I was just like messing around with the settings because I was trying to figure out how easily I could switch between this emulator and my phone, and I went back to the main menu, I come back, and I... I get this login reward, which is just, I can choose any of these free mechas? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> That's, that is so cool. Yo, they did not need to do that. That's so nice. Ooh, damn, okay, so new game mode. So it looks like this is sort of like a, a tower style game mode where you can kind of choose your path and like get upgrades along the way. So let's go ahead and go into this enemy lineup, which... Honestly, looks pretty hard, but we can see if we can take him down. Hopefully, we can. I think my gunman should be leveled up over these guys. Yeah, y you know what? We, <laughs> we 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 just simply slapped them around. I mean, <laughs> they were level one, to be fair. But that's very cool. And yeah, I was right. Looks like now we get to choose an effect, which is very cool. All right, so I was able to get myself the Dai Guren from one of these special like character tiles, which is very cool. So now we can actually go ahead and take a look at what the Dai Guren does before we even potentially buy him and get him on our account. I'm sorry, King Kitan, but we got to get my boy Dai Guren up in the front here. So let's actually see what this guy's going to do. He's only a level one, so he's only really going to have access to his first passive skill here. But what this is going to do is it says with full force, deals damage equal to 172% of the attack power of the enemies in the front and mid row, with 50% chance to reduce the target's damage by 25% for two rounds. Okay, that's pretty good. So it's doing like a splash damage here to the whole row of the first two. That's good. Let's see what the attack actually is looking like in terms of damage, because again, this guy's only level one. Not bad. Really not bad. I forgot to mention, like, these guys are also level one, so I guess their damage is gonna be, like, relative. It's- it's all of my actual units over here that are gonna have, like, stupid damage compared to these guys. Alright gamers, but with all that being done, that is where I'm gonna go ahead and leave off for this video with our first look at the Tangan Topa Gurren Lagan mobile game. I am so, so excited for this game to come out into its full launch, and up until then, I'm going to be playing it literally every single day but gamers with that being said if you guys do want to see more content on this game i mean like regardless i'm gonna give it to you guys i'm gonna be giving you guys more content on this game but if you guys want to specifically see stuff like dev notes like team builds i guess i don't know how in depth the uh, the combat in this game is gonna be but if you guys want to see stuff like that summoning just gameplay my thoughts about the game then definitely let me know by hitting the like comment and subscribe button down below and if you guys just enjoyed this content, you want to see more content like this, then check out some of the other videos on my channel. I'll be honest, I do a lot of different types of videos on my channel, uh, but if you did like the commentary, stuff like that, then definitely, again, be sure to subscribe. And gamers, with that being said, that's where I'm going to leave off. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.